सिक्स पी एम असल दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय कनूज अशरफ फर्स्ट दी हेडलाइंस प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैज डायरेक्टेड फॉर एक्सपेडाइडिंग एफर्ट्स टू इंट्रोड्यूस लोकल गवर्नमेंट ट्राइबल एरियाज रिसेंटली मर्ज विद खैबर पख्तूनख्वा President has stressed the need to ensure preventive measures against growing cyber crimes in the banking sector. Army Chief and Saudi Assistant Minister of Defence at a meeting in Rawalpindi today discussed matters of enhanced bilateral defence cooperation and regional security. India has once again resorted to unprovoked firing along the line of control targeting civilian population and martyring of women in Neelam sector. In occupied Kashmir Indian troops and their unabated acts of state terrorism murdered 375 innocent Kashmiris during this year. The United States has expressed the resolve to defeat Islamic State in Syria despite plan to withdraw its troops from the country. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan has said that development and progress of tribal areas merged with Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and bringing them at par with the rest of the country is the top priority of the government. Chairing a high-level meeting regarding development and reconstruction of erstwhile Fata in Islamabad today, he directed to expedite efforts for early reinforcement of local body system in these areas. The Prime Minister advised to fill posts in education, health and police departments lying vacant in the tribal districts, directing that the process of recruitment should be started immediately. He also directed to start provision of health cards to half a million families of tribal districts by the end of next month. Imran Khan asked the Chief Minister Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Provincial Ministers and Concerned Secretaries to visit these areas to personally monitor development work in education and health sectors. President Dr. Arif Alvi has said that there is a need to utilize modern information technology tools and service delivery by all institutions, including Banking Mohtasib of Pakistan. He said this while talking to Banking Mohtasib Anisul Hasnan, who called on him in Karachi today. The president emphasized that timely implementation of Banking Mohtasib's findings is of utmost importance for the satisfaction of complainants. Dr. Arif Alvi underscored that awareness campaigns, including seminars, must be launched so that maximum number of people can benefit from this institution. He also stressed that preventive measures against increased cyber crimes in the banking sector should also be ensured. He appreciated the role of banking motorship in protecting consumers from financial losses and assured his support to the institution. During the 38th meeting of the Senate of Federal Urdu University of Art, Science and Technology in Karachi today, the president said that socio-economic development of the country is directly linked with quality education. He said educational institutions must make all possible efforts to impart quality education at par with international standards and practices. Saudi Arabia's Assistant Minister of Defense Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Aish held a meeting with Chief of Army Staff General Kamar Javed Bajwa in Rawalpindi today. During the meeting, matters of mutual interest, regional security, and enhanced bilateral defense cooperation came under discussion. Information Minister Chaudhry Fawad Hussain has said the federal government has no intention to enforce governor rule in Sindh or topple the provincial government. Talking to media in Islamabad this evening, he said an impression is being given that the federal government is intending to interfere to destabilize the Sindh government. He said that Prime Minister Imran Khan has directed that no such impression should be attributed to the federal government. Minister for Human Rights Dr. Shirin Mazari has said Pakistan is moving forward on its human rights and gender empowerment commitments. She, this, she said this while talking to Pakistan's envoy to the United Nations, Dr. Maliha Lodi, in Islamabad today. During the meeting, Pakistan's commitment to improve human rights and gender empowerment conditions within the country and ways to project Pakistan's endeavors in this regard at international level came under discussion. They also deliberated upon ways to raise Pakistan's concern over human rights violations in Indian Halt Kashmir and condition of Muslims in the Europe. 
The minister apprised Dr. Lodi of various steps being taken by the government in direction of gender equality and empowerment. Dr. Lodi ensured the minister to use platform of United Nations to project Pakistan's resolve towards human rights and gender empowerment. This is Radio Pakistan. One woman was martyred and nine other civilians were injured in unprovoked firing by the Indian forces at Shakut sector on the line of control. According to ISPR, the injured also include two women and three children. Pakistan Army responded in a befitting manner targeting Indian posts. AJK President Sardar Masood Khan and Prime Minister Raja Farooq Haider Khan have strongly condemned the Indian ceasefire violation and urged United Nations and peace-loving countries to take notice of Indian aggression. British parliamentarian Lord Nazir Ahmed has said that India has been committing human rights violations in occupied Kashmir. Addressing a news conference along with Kashmiri leader Mishal Malik in Islamabad this afternoon, he said Indian security forces are targeting innocent Kashmiris in the Hal Valley. Lord Nazir Ahmed called for publication of an English daily from Azad Kashmir to highlight the Indian atrocities before the international community. In occupied Kashmir, Indian troops in their unabated act of state terrorism martyred 375 innocent Kashmiris, including 10 women and 35 young boys during this year. According to data issued by Research Section of Kashmir Media Service, Indian troops conducted 2,939 cordon and search operations all across the territory during the year. The martyrs included highly qualified youth like Professor Dr. Muhammad Rafi Bhatt, Dr. Manan Bashirwani, Dr. Sabzar Ahmed Sufi, Dr. Ijazuddin Khan, and Dr. Abdul Ahad Ghani. They killed also included the killed also included Huriyat leaders, namely Mir Hafizullah, Tariq Ahmed Ghani, Muhammad Yusuf Nadim, and Hakimur Rahman Sultani. Of the martyrs, 21 were killed in custody. The killings rendered 34 women widowed and 78 children orphaned, while 75 women were molested by the men in uniform. Indian forces destroyed 605 residential houses during the period. Also, the vision of 1,302 people was affected by pellets firing by the troops on the peaceful protesters. French Ambassador to Pakistan, Dr. Mark Barati, has wished Pakistan a prosperous, successful, and peaceful new calendar year. In his greeting message on the occasion of the new year, he said year 2018 marked enhanced cooperation between France and Pakistan and bilateral resolve to explore new opportunities to further bilateral relationship. He said Embassy of France and Pakistan stands committed to further boost bilateral relationship in 2019. The ambassador said an important delegation of renowned French universities will visit Pakistan in April 2019 to increase contribution of France towards higher education in Pakistan. The United States has vowed to remain committed to defeat Islamic State in Syria despite its plan to withdraw troops. Speaking on CNN, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham said withdrawal has been slowed and has been reassured of the president's commitment. And finally, the weather report. Rain with snowfall over the hills is expected at scattered places in Koita, Zob, Kohat, Malakand, Hazara divisions, Gilgit, Baltistan, and Kashmir during next 12 hours. However, light rain is also expected in isolated places in Islamabad, Rawalpindi, Lahore, Gujrawala, Sarkoda, Peshawar, Multan, Banu, and DI Khan divisions. To end the news, some of the headlines once again. Prime Minister has directed for expediting efforts to introduce local government tribal areas recently merged with Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. President has stressed the need to ensure preventive measures against growing cyber crimes in the banking sector. Army Chief and Saudi Assistant Minister of Defense at a meeting at Rawalpindi today discussed matters of enhanced bilateral defense cooperation and regional security. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com, Radio Pakistan News Official.